How's it going guys? Joshua Lefemi here, live in beautiful Brisbane, Australia. I've just moved here from LA and I'm here for a year. In this video, we're gonna be talking about my top 10 favorite AI websites for lazy video editors. Guys, do you hate trying to render a 40 track deep project on your crappy i3 laptop in After Effects, but you know that you can't afford better hardware. Well, then you gotta try out Paperspace. It's a website that gives you real-time access to virtual supercomputers on the other side of the world to run processor-heavy software like After Effects with absolute ease. This is real, no gimmick. All you need is an average strength internet connection to literally rotoscope in a 4K timeline on your favorite $100 Google Chromebook. Next, we have uberduck.ai. Let's say you're in the middle of a crazy random editing session and for some reason you need to throw in a bunch of funny voiceovers. Uberduck AI allows you to choose from a list of hundreds of really dope characters to synthesize any text you type into speech. I'll be honest, a lot of these voices aren't perfectly accurate, are in perfectly accurate. But the sheer number of voices you're able to choose from are truly impressive. There are just so many voice options to choose from so many niche corners of pop culture. Next website is called rave.dj. This website literally mashes up two songs together and makes it seem like you have like 10 years of mixing experience. Who knows how this could be useful in your next video editing workflow. I just thought it was crazy legit. Watch me as I mash up Chris Brown's Go Crazy and David O's Fall. Next website is called Hacker Typer. This has the potential of saving you hours of VFX animation work on the back end. Literally type any gibberish into Hacker Typer and watch it come up as code in that black screen color from every hacker movie that you've ever seen. This next website is called Deep Dream Generator. It's really cool, so check this out. What it does is it takes an original image, we'll call that the base image, and then it takes another image with a specific theme or style, we're gonna call that the style image, and it meshes the two together. Next website is called Make Web Video, and it's crazy interesting. It may look a little bit janky at first, but trust me, it's worth taking a second to check out. Basically, instead of having to learn how to operate After Effects before you can use and edit cool title templates, these browser-based templates allow you to edit the text right in the web browser and download the final video after the fact. So basically, to all you people that have been too scared to take my intro to After Effects course, which is only 20 minutes long, it's free and the link's right in the description, then you can use this website in the meantime. This next website, Snack This Co, is kind of similar to Make Web Video. It has a slightly cleaner interface and requires even less user input. It's another web-based text animation site and it literally only requires you to input text once and it gives you countless downloadable text animations to choose from. So guys, the purpose of these websites so far has been to save you time, maybe simplify your workflow, but ultimately just to save you money. Our channel sponsor Envato Elements will do this very thing for you. It's a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads to a library of millions of Premiere and After Effects templates, effects packs, title packs, lower third packs, basically a bunch of already made digital products meant to save you tons of creative hours in After Effects. They're all quality and via our link below, you can get a 70% discount off the first month. That basically means you get your first month for about $9. I'm gonna follow anyone on Instagram, anyone that subscribes to elements within 24 hours of this video coming out. Just DM me the receipt. After that, I wanna see some cool ways that you've begun to incorporate elements in your creative workflow. Basically just DM me some sick projects you've done. For me, usually I implement a ton of stock footage from the elements library and all of the tutorials that you see here on the channel. Next website is called Place It. .net slash animated logos. Just found out this website is actually owned by Envato as well. Shout out to Envato. But have you ever had a client that came to you for content but had absolutely no brand structure whatsoever? I'm talking about absolutely no brand identity. This actually puts you in an interesting position to actually offer a branding package, maybe starting off with a logo. This website is pretty straightforward. It allows you to create not only static logos, but more impressively, animated logos for your clients without the need for a single piece of software. They have tons of editable templates with so many edit options to choose from. It's pretty sick. Moving on, have you ever been scouting the base camp location for your next film shoot and you wanted to determine how strong the Wi-Fi is for the sake of your on-site editor? Please always do this, by the way. All you gotta do is hop onto fast.com and get an instant reading of the current speed of the internet connection. Australia was known for their crazy slow internet speeds not too long ago. It's gotten a lot better now. And I remember last time I was here, I had to religiously check on fast.com every time I had to shoot because even if I stayed in the exact same location, internet speeds would always fluctuate depending on what time of day it was. The atmospheric fluctuations above the anomaly have gotten... <gasps> It's much worse than we predicted. Our next website we have is Place It 
Dot.net slash C slash mockups. This website does one thing and it does it very well. Let's say you maybe have an app, a website, or a logo that you want to display on a computer screen, an iPhone screen, maybe a tablet screen, or even a t shirt. This website allows you to place any of these items on a mocked up product with a single click of a button. That's it for now, guys. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and state in the comments which website you think you'd use below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and as always, remember to keep it chill.